Hi, it's Heidi here. Are you ready for some hope around the Word of God? Today we're going to be looking at great faith and it's the story of the faith of a Canaanite woman that Jesus heals the daughter of in Matthew chapter 15 verses 21 to 28. And so it's one of these stories that actually has moved me um, a number of times as I read it. But today I saw something that I hadn't seen. So grab your Bibles and let's start reading. We'll start from verse 21. Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he didn't answer a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she's crying out after us. A number of things that I see here. Number one, this Canaanite woman knew who Jesus was and she respected who he was by the way she spoke. She was calling him son of David. So she addressed him with great respect. And as she approached him, she approached pleading for mercy. Mercy, not for herself, but for her daughter. And she meets rejection. She meets rejection. He doesn't say a word to her, not one word. And sometimes we can feel like that. We can feel like we're crying out to God on behalf of someone we love. And it feels like the Lord is silent. Plus, she has, you know, the disciples say to Jesus, send her away. Like she's some problem, like she's some burden. You are never a burden to Jesus. You are never a burden. Your prayers are never a burden. So this lady faces two rejections. One from, you know, feeling like Jesus is silent to her prayers. Secondly, by people that she would esteem as uh, people that she would respect. They were also rejecting her. But you know what? That does not stop her from going after Jesus and the breakthrough in prayer that is what she's going after for her daughter. So keep reading. Verse 24, he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So she's hearing now that this is like, could be a third rejection. He's basically saying, I'm not sent to you. I'm sent to my people, the Jews. Doesn't stop her. But she came and knelt before him saying, Lord, help me. I love that prayer. Lord, help me. She came and knelt before him. When she first comes to Jesus, she's in a a standing position. As she's coming to him now, she's in a worship position, in a humbled, yielded, surrendered position. Lord, help me. And he answered, it is not right to take the children's bread, the Jews' bread, and throw it to the dogs, the Gentiles. He's using an analogy here. She comes straight back, shows absolutely no offense by what he's saying. She's not offended. She comes straight back and says, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. What I see here is something that I didn't see before. When she says, Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. It it reveals to me that she knew that just one crumb was enough. Like one crumb of Jesus' power was enough to heal her daughter. And that's the same for you and I. It's like, that's enough. You don't need the whole lot. You don't need the whole meal. You don't need, you just need a crumb. Just one crumb was enough to heal. That's the power of God. But what does Jesus say? Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Great is your faith. 
Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. Her faith overcame all barriers. You don't have to be like an apostle, like one of the 12 disciples. You don't have to be like one of the apostles to have great faith. You just need to be someone who recognizes who Jesus is and continues to persist at the character of a loving God. He stops for mercy and he will respond to a prayer of faith. Amen. Great is your faith. Be blessed. Bye.